So we got the other side built there. I want to kind of show my thought process. <coughs> I'm building this side, so what I'm doing is it's just a brake line bender. And, you know, there's the eighth inch and uh, there was a few failures before I got a set of bends that I like. But I, I really wanted to start on that outside edge. Here's the piece. Because that's what matters to me most because I wanna I don't want to cover those screws. I don't want to fight that. So and remember there there's a rubber trim piece that's got to go on here to seal the door. So we can't go all the way to that edge for that rubber trim piece. So I've got this piece cut that grab on the dash and then still be able to get to that screw. So that dictated that shape. Well I want I want this plane you know I don't want it to go like this. So that plane when I go to make this piece needs to be so that meant that I couldn't come you know straight out with a curve like this. Even though that's be the ideal but I, I don't want to fight the screw so I ended up getting a bend like that that's lower than this plane so I'll be able to you know wrap into it like the dash kind of follow kind of follow the dash around so I'm gonna go ahead and and, and tack these two pieces in and then once I get these two pieces tacked in, I'll start building the you know the next one, the next one, and then the next one. And then later we'll plate those all with steel. So this whole edge will be a piece of steel, and it'll be made off a piece of poster board. Same thing, and, and all tacked together. And uh, you'll see. I'll, I'll show you building this side. All right, so I've got them and I've brought them over here and tacked them together. So uh, now I can, I'll come in here and I'll make a little piece of round bar and just hand bend the curve to come to there. I'm just eyeballing the stuff. So uh, make it kind of art deco or whatever, make it look like it's kind of cool. So I'll make a piece that goes from here to there and then I'll make the next piece that comes out to the door. All right. So there's the next bar. I'll just grab that point. So this bar is going to show. There's going to be some metal welded in that section. And the round bar is going to allow me to have something to weld to. <coughs> Same thing with that tube. So um, now we're going to pull from uh, right here. Remember that I put a piece of eighth inch round bar in there So we got to remember that the round bar is actually going to be the piece of metal that gets welded in behind this This round bar is going to actually be visibly out It'll start to disappear somewhere in here, but it, it's going to be you know the, this piece can be put in behind it So we're going to uh, put it right here and pull it to there and just make a shape that looks good to us because later we're going to come in and just poster board you know cut it till that shape fits and then put it on a piece of metal and beat it till it looks nice and then just start tack 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 and and grind it smooth and then whatever's not perfect you know this whole thing get bondoed or fiberglass, whatever it takes to get it to, you know, be smooth and paintable. So we're we're coming along, we're pulling it out. So we'll, we'll pull the next bar, and then that next bar, this one will be done. All right, I'm going to show how I'm using this bender. I'm just capturing it in there, 
and slowly moving it out and hand pushing this piece down. I'm not using the lever. That's how I'm able to get swooping curves because I'm manually just moving it along and bending it across that die to get these you know, swooping curves using the brake tool bender. Now the tube, I did, you know, bend it against the die. It's kind of tough. And then I, I put a piece of aluminum in the bench vise in there and, and tapped to get this swooping radius. Like I said, that was just a lot of trial and error until I got it. I, I ruined a couple, uh, three or four foot of tube until I got something I liked. And then I was able to you know, once I knew a plan and was able to do it, I was able to re redo it for the other side. So, these pieces were made to match each other. And then also these pieces are made were made to match each other, but opposite. The rest of these pieces don't really matter as much as these. But, you know, the, the whole cab's offset an inch and a half, so the other side's an inch and a half longer. So, this won't exactly be the same because the way they put the drive line and and uh, you know the cars so what we're going to do now is bend this piece all right so we got the next bar in and now i got to pull the bottom bar off and up and then uh I got, I'll weld all, all of them together and then I'll come in here and make the part that's going to get cut this part will be the door and this part will be the dash we're getting the look that we want where the dash kind of flows into you while you're sitting in here so it kind of kind of wraps around this is what we're, what we're looking for <clears throat> so Kind of pulled it into the door. It should be pretty cool once it gets all plated and and then this part goes out. I'm thinking about bolting this part. So it'll be one bolt here. Two bolts hidden underneath where the dash is. Alright, I'm gonna make this next piece. Alright, so I got that bar pulled. Now I'll go out here and I'll weld this all up and make a point out of it just out of weld. You know, right now it's not affixated to the door at all. It's just tight against it. So, uh, I'm able to get in and out. So, if that's, if that's what you're wondering. And I don't think I want to go welding and all this. So, I'm, I'm probably just going to make one bolt right here. And then when it gets cut for the door, I'll have two bolts up here. And then, of course, the dash... You know, it's going to be capped off, so when you open the door, you won't see. And also, there'll be a, a support that goes down and bolts, you know, like a normal dash does down there. So, I'm going to do this, and then the next step is to make the door cut point. And then uh, this skeleton will be done. Alright, so I've welded all the bars to the shape that I can crown. I'll grind it once it cools down. You see it's cherry hot right there, but so we'll have you know the shape that we want. Remember this will be a piece of metal all welded. And this will be a piece of metal and a piece of metal. And it'll all be ground and then you know Bondo will fix whatever's left. Bondo or fiberglass. So it'll be all painted and it'll be steel. But, you know, I got it all welded across that edge, and then I'll make a custom dash out here. So, uh, once this cools down a little bit, I'm going to grind and shape where all the bars come together. And, uh, it should be pretty wild once I, uh, you know. But next, I get this shaped, and then the next thing, we're going to come in and put our bars in for where the door is going to cut. So it's gonna we're gonna try to make it a straight line. So then when we cut it with a grinder, and also when we plate this, it'll just be a flat plate. 
that'll go in here for the dash and then a flat plate that'll go along this edge. So we're just going to eyeball a cut and then and make a half inch gap so that we'll cut that half inch out and this piece will swing with the door and this piece will stay with the truck. Alright, I'm going to grind this when it cools down. Alright, so we got that end welded up. And now, now it's time to come in and make that, make the brackets, you know, the straight pieces. We're going to make an eighth inch so there's no problem with the, or a half inch so there's no problem with an open and closing. Nobody's really going to, you know, care that much, you know. And uh, we're going to come in and try to make it straight so when we cut it with a grinder and we lay the flat place, pieces in, so we're going to make them uh a uh, half inch gap that's going to end up being cut out now and then uh, we'll go from there and, and basically the skeleton part will be done and then it'll just be beating it with a hammer and little pieces of steel to, and tacking it on and grinding it and it, it won't be that hard but we'll get the we'll get a good shape coming in, out of the dash it'll actually wrap around you when you're sitting in here so I need to go in and put those little pieces in right now. Alright, so I, I got these so I can come in with a grinder and cut this half inch section out. And this piece will stay with the door. And this piece will be the dash. So when I open the door, this piece will go out and come back in. And there'll be this half inch gap, which nobody will care about. And uh, so we got, we've exaggerated it into the dash. Got it done on both sides there. And uh, I'm happy with it. Next, next step will be to sheet it. So I pulled a light in here to kind of help maybe see what's going on. So the dash will have a will be pulled into the door for you know door panels so anyway that's making the skeleton for the the sheet metal now it'll be real easy to weld the sheet metal to it there and uh, all right I hope you like this kind of stuff have a nice day